We all know Small Rig. The private company based out of Shenzhen, China, invigorated the camera accessory market in 2014 by introducing miniaturized versions of popular cinema camera accessories marketed to videographers and small budget creatives. In the present day, they have thousands of products for sale. They've moved into all sorts of categories like mobile accessories, tripods, batteries, lights. They really sell everything. But for a company that large, one thing I never hear about is their customer service. They have a seven day dead on arrival policy, a 45 day free reason return policy, and they offer a one year warranty on electronics and a two year warranty on their metal parts. So let's put small rig to the test. In September of 2022, I purchased the Small Rig NATO top handle with record stop start remote trigger on Amazon for about 130 Canadian dollars. It's worth mentioning that Small Rig products are available from basically every camera and tech related retailer out there, which helps to explain their prevalence in the market. Now, I'm not here to review this specific product, but I will offer a brief summary. The handle met my expectations for Small Rig's mid level quality. The metal felt sturdy and the NATO rail support was firm when secured. All the machined parts were properly designed, allowing cold shoes to fit and function as intended. The product came with all the cables, which would enable me to control all of the cameras listed on the product page, and it used a responsive red button on the top handle to stop and start the record function, which did feel a little cheap. The only thing that really caught my eye about this product was the weird decal on the side. It said top handle and it looked pretty generic. I've never seen Small Rig brand its products in this way, but I suppose it's all right. I noticed almost immediately that the product had a little rattle when I moved it around. For this product, Small Rig used a small retainer pin system to lock the cold shoe on the top of the handle. This slanted piece in the front allows cold shoe devices to go in and lock them so they're secure, but not fall out until the button is pressed on the side of the handle, which would lower the retaining piece, letting you remove the device. Essentially just a locking cold shoe handle with a little spring lever on the inside. Upon receiving the product, I was skeptical about its ability to withstand the demand of professional use, and unfortunately my doubts were confirmed when the retaining pin snapped a few months after. This caused the metal bar that held in cold shoe devices to become loose and uncontrollable, effectively eliminating the locking feature. One quick note is that from the time I purchased the device to the time I had the issue, the small rig store on Amazon removed this item for sale. This made me concerned about the possibility of finding a replacement. So the saga begins and I reached out to the small rig support email. With my email, I submitted a picture of the broken product along with a straightforward request. I'm seeking a replacement or a refund under warranty. Small rig got back to me within two business days with a nicely worded email requesting that I provide my order number twice. I responded with my order number and small rig again followed up promptly saying that they would send me a new device to compensate me for my damaged device. And then they requested my shipping address. They also told me that because the product was coming from Shenzhen, that it would take a few time to arrive and that it would be about a month. I want to also point out that small rig asked me if a new product would be an acceptable resolution to my issue to which I agreed. I emailed them my delivery information and on April 11th, they said my replacement product was on its way. And would you look at that? Only a short time later, my replacement product came. Small Rig had sent me an entirely new unit, complete and in box. They also let me keep my old unit, which still functioned as a handle and the push button also still worked, so bonus. I had my issue entirely resolved and all I had to do was send in a picture, an order number and my delivery address. Oh, and, and I didn't tell you how long it took. From final email to delivery took nine days. That's incredible. From my email on the 11th, according to the information on the package, the product left the distribution center on the 13th and hit Canadian customs by the 18th. And the product was in my hand on the 20th, which is unbelievably fast. Plus I didn't pay for any additional duty or import taxes, which made this entire solution completely free to me. It really does make me wonder what the margins are on some of Small Rig's products, because this is pretty good service to be receiving for a relatively low cost item. So in conclusion, I will not make the guarantee that Small Rig's service is this good across the board. There are undoubtedly some circumstances in which positive resolutions would be tough to have. But for me, Small Rig actually provided great customer service and followed up on a product that was only minorly inconveniencing me. 
and they gave me an entirely new product, an entirely new solution, which solved my issue and kept me on as a happy customer. So I'm very happy with what Small Rig was able to provide to me. And yeah, I'm happy to share this experience with you. They did a phenomenal job at providing me a great solution to a relatively minor problem. And for that, I have to applaud Small Rig. But now I'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment down below if you've ever used Small Rig's customer service and how did that go for you? I want to know. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. I like, I don't know. I've dealt with a lot of camera companies in the past or manufacturers and it's really easy for them to one, request the product comes back and that you ship it back, which shipping back to Shenzhen would probably be quite expensive. So that could be a non-starter. Uh, or maybe they charge some sort of restocking fee that's related to your return, or maybe they just don't support the product at all. There's also instances where companies could have a long list of what is required to support a product, like what issues they cover and what issues they don't cover. And I, I deal with none of that from Small Rig. Like they, they barely asked questions and they were almost eager to send out another part, which was really, as a customer, it was really nice to see that because I no longer had to worry about whether or not I'd have a top handle for my rig for very long. Um, they were just on it, you know, and the responses were, were good. They were timely. I will say that some of the emails did come from odd times due to the, uh, the distance, like the time zone distance between Canada and China. But, um, other than that, like it was completely workable and everyone on that side of the email seemed to be understanding. And they also seemed to have a process for dealing with this stuff that seemed, uh, relatively bulletproof. Like it was just like one step to another, to another, send the product out, which was very good. So small rig. Yeah. Who would have thought this was, this was an instance of good customer support. Great job, small rig.